Mwenyeko wa kijana wa kidogo unajua unajua mambo haya yanaingiana na mambo ya kazi na maisha yengine so we were working on the draft of the press statement which is right now so we take off now and communicate straight away we regret to state the following that since the much tied handshake between President Uhuru Kenyatta and the former Prime Minister Raila Odinga on the 9th of March 2015, a worrying, dangerous, and democratic and authoritarian trend has slowly but surely been injected into Kenya's body politic. This toxic, contaminated political agenda has been executed by the president himself and a cohort of pseudo political and bureaucratic mercenaries whose intention is to reorder the legal and institutional landscape of the 2022 transition in favor of retaining power in the hands of a cabal and making mockery of the democratic gains Kenya has registered over the last three decades. Recent developments signify that a crafty, little, and tyrannical agenda that will erode our democratic consolidation as a nation has been launched. We have observed with concern the execution of the following schemes. Namely, despite the economic, social, and health devastation brought about by COVID-19 pandemic on millions of Kenyans, a project to weaken, undermine, and or prop up political parties has been unleashed on Kenyans without let, hindrance, or any sense of proportionality. The hostile and illegal takeover of the Green Party for Kenya and to some extent Amani Congress on the one hand and the still propping up of Kano on the other represent the highest level of threat to Kenyans multipartism and free choice since 1992. It is not lost to Kenyans that we fought against one party rule in order to open up democratic space necessary for inclusive politics and national stability. Kenya's multipartisan is therefore non-negotiable and any efforts to erode this game will, proceed, will not proceed unchallenged. We are concerned that the absence of a substantive registrar of political parties has seen those acting in this office intimidated into allowing the unlawful reckoning of, reckoning of parties in flagrant disregard of the provisions of the Political Parties Act and the provisions of the Constitution of Kenya, which Uhuru Kenyatta swore to protect. We conjecture that the mobilization of massive efforts towards taking over control of parliamentary political parties is not innocent. We believe that this process is a prelude to shepherding the untransparent and illegitimate BBI outcomes through Parliament. The schemas behind this project want to transform Parliament into a mere conveyor belt of yes men and yes women who will neither resist the illegitimate constitutional proposals by BDI nor stand up for the true aspirations of Wanjiku. We wish to warn the masterminds behind this scheme that the incarnation of their illegitimate order under BDI will be resisted by well-meaning Kenyans. I want to make this small rider so as to allow 
Danson Omari, who is on my immediate left, is an advocate of the High Court to make a few remarks on the legalities of and the illegalities of what took place in Kakamega. Uh, I had the opportunity of giving PPEs, food, masks, and other things to the people of Kakamega, some of them who are displaced uh, by floods. They are currently residing at primary schools. I did so to seven primary schools where people were staying without any interference from the police. But when I reached the eighth primary school in Shinyalu, by the name of Munyanda Primary School, on the 6th of June, hell broke loose. Tear gas was thrown at angry people who were receiving that support from me at that particular time. Women fell down, were physically injured, we've taken them to the hospital. For the modern youth, their motorbikes were destroyed and some investigated by the police. All this is because the previous day, the governor of Kakamega, of Paranya, and the minister for devolution, Eugene Wamalwa, had had at Kakamega Airstrip political challenges from members of the public. So instead of the police allowing these very experienced politicians to sort out their political problems with their people, the police waded in and decided to solve their political problems on their behalf. And they did so by attacking me when I was distributing the above things to hungry people from my community. I want to appeal to the inspector of police to ensure that the police is not misused to do political agenda for politicians who are having political problems with the voters. Number two, we would like to urge the inspector of police to realize that under the new constitution, he does not work under the direction of anybody else, not even the president. And for that matter, he must stop persecuting me. I am being persecuted for the reason that I have chosen a stand not to agree with Atwoli, not to agree with Raila, not to agree with Eugene Omarua, who want to force me to support either a Zion from the Kenyatta or the Jaramogi or the Moi family for purposes of presidential election 2022. They are not happy that I have chosen to support a neighbor who happens to be a son of a nobody, and because I'm also a son of a peasant like him, I have decided that I would rather I associate with him. So if my mistake here then is that I'm supporting Deputy President for the reasons that I've said, may the public help me in enjoying that particular freedom and also protect me when the police chooses to use the instruments at their disposal to deal with me. I want to thank the people of Kakamega in general and Malinia in particular for standing with me during this one week that is so, so difficult for me. Thank you very much. I now allow Thank you. You are not coming for us. This is uh, this is Mr. Tenge. He's the first victim of the shenanigans that Raila Dinga and Uru Kenyatta have visited on Kenyans 
of arresting leaders who want to give humanitarian aid. Mr. Tenge was arrested in Mombasa in a manner similar to mine. He was caught distributing food. He was arraigned in court. He was charged and he was fined a fine of 3,000 shillings. We want to remind the president and the deputy president that we are in the of Africa. Mtu hezi kuwa na mbia, hata kama ni jirani, uwa na kuja kuwako, anaomba kukule kia na unamukatia. Sina taa ataki sisi kuhoto, kutayani yu mzaada, akatae mutio yote asitoe mzaada wa wote. Asante kwa na tenge. Kwa na mwagila mwagili mwami sari. Kwa na mwagili mwagili mwagili. Na jipenda kurekta na nyi media. Na jipenda kusema kwa kati hudu hume wa Kenya kuna shida sari. Kwa na itaji mzaada wetu kwa kila njia. Kwa na lazima kwa 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 Lazima tushirikiane sisi kama jamii kuwafikia wale watu wadogo ambao serikali haijawafikia. Baada ya kwa chakula kushikwa kuna watu wanakutana kaji yado hawana social distance, hawana mask, hawakamatwi, wanafanya siasa na sisi tunapewa kwa chakula kwa wananchi tunashikwa. Ningependa kusema wale wanafanya siasa ndio washikwe kwanza kisha tufuate sisi tunapeana msaada kwa jamii. Kwa hivyo hayo ni mambo mawili tofauti ni lazima azingatiwe. Siasa na kusaidia jamii ni vitu tofauti. Sasa hii siasa yetu kubwa ni corona ili yetu kubwa ni corona tupigane na hii corona tusipigane na siasa asanteni Mungu awabariki